And our fathers, we bow in your presence today. We are grateful for your goodness, your faithfulness. And we are thankful for the many blessings you have blessed us with. And Lord, we don't have to go far to say thank you. Because you woke us up this morning, clothed us in our right minds. And when we realize that we can walk or drive to church, sit in church, sing the songs of Zion, they mean so much to us. We thank you, O oh God, for friends. We thank you for families. Thank you for members. We thank you for a church we can come and we can worship together and we can give God thanks for the many things you have done for us as a church. And even as we are reminded that, Lord, we started this year and we had three major goals and thank God we are able to almost complete all of them. And we are glad and we are so thankful to God. But we also pray, oh God, for souls will be added to your kingdom. You did add a few, but God, we continue to trust you. Because God, we are trusting and believing that many, many more will come to know you, even for the coming year. And Lord, we say thank you for health and strength. Many of us got sick at the beginning of the year. Oh God, some got sick and they passed away. So many persons but we want to thank you for their lives. Thank you especially for our two sisters who have gone home. Pray that you, Lord God, continue to bless their families. And Lord, we are thankful for their lives. And we are thankful for all the blessings, uh, oh God, that has been out, uh, outpoured upon their lives. And, and we as a church, we, can, we have said we have benefited tremendously. And we pray you'll continue to bless, oh God, us as a congregation. Lord, we don't know what the future holds. It's amazing. We are almost in the last month of the year, December. Hardly can we believe that the year has almost expired. But God, you have been faithful. Thank you for your protection from the storms, from earthquake. When you heard from the seismologists who were saying it's five earthquakes, and he said in this year, she said in this area, there are over 80 earthquake tremors, over 80 tremors. I couldn't believe it. Oh, God, Lord, we, we realize things happening all around us. And sometimes we don't even realize that God is speaking. We watch the global scene today. And sometimes we wonder, Lord, where are we heading? But God, you have been so good to us. Thank you for protecting Antigua and Barbuda. We pray for a covering over this nation and our Caribbean region. And so many things have happened in 2024. But in the midst of them all, we can say, thank you, God for all your blessings in us. Then we thank you for every member of our church. We, we love them, we appreciate them, and we pray your blessings might be upon their lives, uh, upon their families. Uh, and Lord, they have much to be thankful because they can say, hitherto hath the Lord help them. Continue to bless our children, bless our young people. We pray that God, that we might just give you thanks for them and Lord, so many wonderful things, jobs you have given us. Lord, oh God, Lord, so many of our people, thank God they could have been out of a job. But God, you have been providing. And we pray that you'll continue to open doors to everyone so that, oh God, they may all rejoice and able to give you thanks. Continue to bless us again and bless the furtherance of this service. And bless even our ministry, not only here at this local church, but even beyond the walls as we take the message of the gospel to people in different places. May our ministry continue as a church, continue, Lord, to find residence in the hearts and lives of men so that we might hear the testimony of God's transforming power. Have your divine way again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 